Morning students, in this class we are discussing about techniques of time value of money. So we have two kinds of techniques. First one is compounding technique and second one is discounting technique. In compounding technique, we are, we are, uh, we are having two techniques like single cash flow and threes of cash flow or any of First of all, compounding technique. What we understand by compounding technique? So in compounding technique, we are calculating interest on a basis of future value basis. In this single cash flow, we have three kind of methods. First one is annual compounding. Second one is semi-annual compounding. And the third one is quarterly or monthly compounding. In second method, series of cash flow or NUP. So first of all, we should know what we understand by NUP. So NUP is a process by which we are calculating interest on a regular interval basis. In this NUP method, we have two kind of methods. First one is ordinary NUP and second one is NUP due. So what we understand by ordinary NUP? Ordinary NUP in this payment or receipt is made on uh, at the end of period basis. Means we are doing payments in the end period or receiving payment in the end period. Uh, and in NUD due, we are making payments in the beginning of the year or time period. For second method of technique of time value of money and discounting technique. So in discounting technique, we are calculating present value of future value. So for that, we are using single cash flow method and series of cash flow method. In series single cash flow method, for example, if we are receiving 1 lakh rupees after 10 years, so what is the present value for that cash flow which we are receiving in future? In series of cash flow, Series of cash flow means NUT. So we are using here NUT method. So in NUT we have two kind of methods ordinary NUT and NUT due. For NUT method we are making payments on regular interval basis. So if we are receiving, uh, receiving money like 10,000 rupees for next 10 years. So what is the present value for that cash flow which we are receiving in near future. So first one is ordinary NUT and second one is NUT due. In ordinary NUT, if we are making or receiving payment at the end of the period. So for next 10 years, if we are making payments for let's suppose 31st of December every year. So what is the cash flow NUT due? In NUT due, we are making or receiving payments in the beginning of the period. So in the beginning of the period, if we are receiving payments for next 10 years, so what is the present value for that cash flow? So if we are talking about time value of money, so this method we are using in uh, many sectors like in construction sector, like in government sector, in private sector, so many of these sectors are utilizing these methods nowadays for loan, for loan queries and for any, any payment we have made in, uh, on uh, NUT basis, on monthly basis. So for that we are using time value of 